Just six nights before Matt Riddle defends the WWE Championship of Vengeance, he goes one-on-one -on -one with the man who laid out Brock Lesnar last week, Kevin Owens. It's Owens and Riddle, one-on-one -on -one in your main event tonight on Raw. Also coming up later this evening is a rematch from a few weeks back. The Defiant LA Knight versus the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Will Nakamura get the win back or will LA Knight's reign continue? We are live tonight from the Rogers Place in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, kicking off our Canadian tour ahead of Vancouver and Vengeance this Sunday. But we are live and we are set for action here on Monday Night Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Rich Holland, representing the Brawling Brutes from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds. Bush! We want to take you back to two weeks ago when Pete Dunn, now known as the Bruiserweight Butch of the Brawling Brutes, made his return to Monday Night Raw, attacking the visionary Seth Freakin' Rollins, aligning himself with the Brawling Brutes. That, of course, stemming with an issue as Seth Rollins take an issue with Sheamus and then Ridge Holland due to a victory from Sheamus a few weeks back. And ahead of the six-man tag team match this Sunday at Vengeance when the Brawling Brutes will meet Seth Rollins and the Judgment Day, Butch is back in action tonight on Raw, and he's got his hands full with the Prince of the Judgment Day, Finn Balor. These two men, no strangers to each other. A lot of history between Balor and Butch, and that history continues here tonight in Edmonton. And his opponent, accompanied by Damian Priest, representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn It is this Sunday night live in Vancouver, Canada at Vengeance six-man tag team grudge match. The Brawling Brutes in their entirety take on the visionary Seth freaking Rollins, Damian Priest, and Finn Balor of the Judgment Day. Vengeance is coming to you live this Sunday night at 5 p.m. Eastern time. It is a live premiere right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notifications so that way you don't miss out on the epic live premiere coming your way this Sunday night for Vengeance. Vengeance is going to be an epic night this coming Sunday, but we got an epic night in store for you here tonight at the Rogers Place, kicking off our Canadian tour in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, a former home of the Backlash pay-per-view back in 2004. Raw is back in the arena tonight, and we are set to build some momentum towards Vengeance this Sunday. What a way to kick things off. Finn Balor of the Judgment Day. And the man formerly known as Pete Dunn now going by the name of Butch, the Bruiserweight, back in action tonight. Remember, Butch was the Intercontinental Champion for the better part of eight months here in WWE. During one of those reigns, defended the gold successfully against Finn Balor. That coming last August at Extreme Rules, so no shortage of history between these two men. You gotta wonder, there's no shortage of history between Butch and the man leading the charge in the Brawling Brutes, the Celtic Warrior Sheamus either. A lot of bad blood between those two men, dating back to last year, but seemingly a mutual respect earned between Butch and Sheamus! And alongside Sheamus's protege, Ridge Holland, it looks like those three men are looking to take Monday Night Raw by storm. And of course, it was Seth freaking Rollins who picked the fight with Sheamus. Goes back to that backlash qualifying matchup over a month ago here on Raw. Sheamus picked up the victory. And about four weeks ago, Seth Rollins attacking Sheamus in the backstage area after Monday Night Raw went off the air to try to get some retribution for costing him that number one contender's match. Of course, Sheamus' protege, Ridge Holland, tried to get the better of Seth Rollins a few weeks ago as well. Came up short against the Visionary the same night that Butch made his return to Monday Night Raw. Aligning himself with the Brawling Brutes as Finn Balor looking for the victory tonight. Butch gets the shoulder up. And the Judgment Day, a new unit here on Monday Night Raw as well the last few months. Damian Priest and Balor taking Raw by storm. Winning victories over the Street Profits. Montez Ford both in singles action. Now Balor in action tonight against Butch ahead of that six-man tag this Sunday night. Live from the Rogers Arena in Vancouver. 
I want to thank you for joining us for Monday Night Raw. Tonight is going to be an epic week right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Monday Night Raw tonight. SmackDown coming your way on Friday. Don't forget that channel member exclusive WWE live event this Saturday night, which will feature the WWE Tag Team Championships on the line as Mustafa Ali and Ricochet defend against SmackDown's Drew Gulak and JD McDonough. So much more coming your way on Saturday night as well. And then, of course, Vengeance this Sunday, which is a absolutely stacked event. Seven huge matches. We're going to be talking all about it all night long here at Edmonton, Alberta. Meanwhile, Butch and Pete Dunn, excuse me, Butch and Finn Balor, squaring away in that ring right now. Going to, have to, going to have to get used to the name change here. Butch adopting a new persona. It's Finn Balor looking to take the momentum of this one-on-one -on -one matchup tonight. Not just the momentum of the match, but certainly momentum leading in to the six-man tag this Sunday night. Of course, Seth Rollins not out here tonight alongside the two men he will team up with on Sunday, that being the Judgment Day. And Sheamus not out here either. We haven't seen Sheamus since Seth Rollins ambushed him in the backstage area, but both those men will be inside the ring in Vancouver. And something's going to have to give between these six competitors. Right now, Finn Balor has got Butch where he wants him. And the Bruiserweight may be in trouble. Missile drop kick. Vintage out of the arsenal of Balor. Into the cover to pick up the victory here. And Butch gets the shoulder up. Close call there. But the matchup continues to kick us off on Monday Night Raw. Now Balor not done just yet. You see he hooks the arm as well. Pete done. And down goes Butch. And that may do it. Into the cover goes the Prince. But Butch survives again. The Bruiserweight not looking to come up in defeat in his return bout here on Monday Night Raw. Surviving some of Balor's best moves in the arsenal. And I'll try to get back into this matchup is the Bruiserweight. Great way to kick things off tonight in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. We're going to be in Canada. We're going to be in the north for the next number of weeks. We're heading to Vancouver on Sunday. Montreal, Toronto, Winnipeg, all in the arsenal of our WWE schedule the next few months. Meanwhile, Butch taking down Bauer. Next few weeks, excuse me. Out running the Prince there with that clothesline. Chap in Siguri. The Bruiserweight, one of the hardest hitters, not just on Monday Night Raw, but in the entire WWE. Still to come tonight, right here tonight at the Rogers Place, Edmonton, Alberta. We've got a stacked night of action, a rematch a few weeks in the making. The King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, challenging LA Knight to a rematch. LA Knight picked up the win over Nakamura a few weeks ago. Nakamura wants to run things back later tonight. Meanwhile, Bauer. Got Butch down with that cross face. Could be looking to tap out the bruiser way here, but the former Intercontinental Champion able to get out of it. Two-time Intercontinental Champion, that is. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this power bomb sits out with it, does Butch. Now it's Butch looking for the pinfall. No. These two men know each other well. They have had battles in the past over the Intercontinental Championship. They had battles down at NXT. Now they're doing it again here on Monday Night Raw. And, oh, wait a minute. Well, Damian Priest at ringside, mouthing off to Butch. And it's enough to get the distraction, and Balor takes advantage. Damian Priest better be careful, because Butch is not out here alone tonight. He's got Ridge the Fridge, Ridge Holland at ringside watching his back. And wait a minute, Balor taking Butch over the top rope. And Damian Priest bringing Butch to his feet. He better be careful. Judgment Day might be risky disqualification there. Meanwhile, Balor hanging Butch up in the barricade. And the tides of this matchup has certainly shifted here tonight at Edmonton. Balor firmly in the driver's seat in your opening contest tonight. On the outside of the ring, just continuing the offense. And everything's going to hurt a little bit extra when you're on the outskirts of the square circle. Butch back into the ring. Balor going to take his time. Also still to come tonight on Monday Night Raw, ladies and gentlemen. What a main event. After what happened last week, Kevin Owens goes one-on-one -on -one with the WWE Champion Finn Balor. Or excuse me, Matt Riddle later tonight, but Finn Balor taking down Butch again. And that may be all she wrote. Into the cover. That'll do it. Finn Balor off that 19-16 for a second time in this contest. Enough to keep the bruiserweight Butch down.
Balor with some big time offense throughout this match. Butch was trying to mount a comeback, but that distraction from Damian Priest really turned the tides in your opening matchup. Here is your winner, Finn Balor. Well, Balor may be the better man tonight, but who is going to be the better unit walking out of Vengeance this Sunday night? We are live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time this Sunday, May the 14th in Vancouver, Canada. It's the big time six-man tag team matchup. Sheamus, Butch, Ridge Holland, the Brawling Brutes take on Damian Priest and Finn Balor of the Judgment Day alongside the visionary Seth freaking Rollins. We are back live in Edmonton, Alberta, and we are set for that rematch. About three weeks in the making here. Nakamura looking to run things back with a defiant loudmouth, L.A. Knight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Hagerstown, Maryland. Weighing in at 230 pounds, L.A. Knight. It was three weeks ago here on Raw, L.A. Knight. Not only took to Twitter to call out Ilya Dragunov, the Intercontinental Champion, for a future shot at the gold, but went one-on-one -on -one with the man who had just competed against Dragunov 24 hours prior, Shinsuke Nakamura. And even though it was a hard-hitting bout, Nakamura emptying the tank in that one, LA Knight walking away victorious. Shinsuke Nakamura most likely not going into that matchup 100%. As we mentioned, 24 hours prior to their last meeting, Nakamura is battling Ilya Dragunov for the Intercontinental Championship. So tonight, Nakamura wants to run things back. He's at 100%, and he wants to test himself yet again against the defiant LA Knight right here at Edmonton, Alberta, Canada on Monday Night Raw. And the king of strong style arrives in style. The hard-hitting, charismatic, Shock the fear into the soul of every superstar on Raw. Nakamura is looking for victory here tonight. And his opponent from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. And again, we want to remind you that just 24 hours prior to Vengeance, we'll be live for a channel member exclusive live event right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Become a channel member today. Don't miss out on a bonus Universe Mode episode every single month. And again, that is coming up this Saturday night, May the 13th, featuring the WWE Tag Team titles on the line and so much more. Let's focus in on the action here tonight in the Rogers place. Nakamura at 100%, seeking vengeance, if you will. Seeking victory over LA Knight. They absolutely tore the house down three weeks ago. Competitive matchup from both ends of the spectrum. But Nakamura, again, as we mentioned, at 100% tonight. A different playing field than a few weeks ago on Raw. We'll see if Nakamura can avenge that loss or if LA Knight's going to continue his momentum here on the red brand. As the matchup's underway, you remember, as we mentioned, LA Knight took to Twitter a few weeks ago to call out Ilya Dragunov for a future shot at the Intercontinental Championship. You gotta wonder if this matchup tonight will play into the fact of who is gonna challenge Ilya Dragunov next for the gold. Just last week that Dragunov issued that open challenge, retained his Intercontinental title. A great wrestling matchup against Tyler Bate. Dragunov living to survive and living to fight another day as your Intercontinental Champion. Meanwhile, LA Knight, Nakamura on the shoulders, burning hammer position, swings him out into the neck breaker. LA Knight's looking to go home early. Will that do it? Nakamura, not even a one count there. Shinsuke Nakamura is going to be a tough puzzle to crack for LA Knight at 100%. Where Nakamura made his way through three rounds of a number one contenders tournament to become the man. Wait a minute. Nice counter there by Nakamura. Made his way through the tournament to become the number one contender for Ilya Dragunov's Intercontinental title at Backlash. Defeated Happy Corbin, defeated Damian Priest, defeated Cedric Alexander. And now Nakamura is back in action tonight on Raw. LA Knight looking to be his next victim. LA Knight just taking his time to get back into the ring. He knows this is a different animal that he wrestled a few weeks ago in Shinsuke Nakamura. Nice counter there off the neck breaker. And LA Knight better keep his eye on Nakamura who hits that backstabber for a second time in just a matter of a minute. Back to the action we go. Nakamura looks 
for victory tonight. Pops the hips off the German, and LA Knight goes for a ride. King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura has really been firing up on Monday Night Raw as of late. Does not want to fall back down the totem pole with a back-to-back -back loss against the Defiant Knight. LA Knight, on the other hand, wants to keep building his stock here on Monday Night Raw. Wants that opportunity to challenge for the Intercontinental Championship down the line. And wins and losses are certainly going to play into the factor of if he does so. Nice rushing leg sweep by Knight, and Nakamura going to have to take a moment, head to the outside of the squared circle here. Oh. LA Knight on his tail, going after Shinsuke. It slams him down on the floor at ringside, and Knight not done either. Nakamura trying to avoid whatever LA Knight had in mind, and sending him into the barricade. Back inside goes LA Knight, and just in a matter of a snap of the fingers, Nakamura finds himself back in the driver's seat of this contest. Goes for the kick again. That time he hits it. And LA Knight may be seeing stars. There's a counter by LA Knight. Really back and forth matchup all the way through thus far between these two competitors. Gotta wonder, Nakamura and LA Knight found out last week that this matchup was official. I'm sure they spent the time over the last seven days watching the footage of their last matchup, trying to learn the ins and outs of each other's competitors. And a swinging neck breaker by LA Knight. LA Knight trying to go back-to-back -back victories against Nakamura tonight. Two wins against the King of Strong Style, the man who was previously number one contender for the Intercontinental title, can certainly put LA Knight's name in the conversation for a future shot at that beautiful gold. Knight going for the pinfall here. Will that do it? Not watching his ring awareness. Nakamura saved by the ropes involuntarily. And LA Knight going to continue on the offense. Knight is not done just yet. Oh, wait a minute. Nakamura going up again. Now LA Knight with that burning hammer on Shinsuke Nakamura. LA Knight is not done, and neither is Nakamura. Oh, wait a minute. Look at Shinsuke. Trying to go for that Death Valley driver there. LA Knight able to avoid it. Nakamura trying to go tit for tat. Knight having none of it, and an uppercut in the corner. He goes for the pinfall again. Will that do it this time? Burning Hammer a few minutes ago, and Nakamura a few moments ago gets the shoulder up. Sluttering over my words tonight. The excitement is real for Vengeance this Sunday. And it's going to be a hot and heavy week right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Join the channel down below. You're not going to want to miss a moment of this action. We are back to the outside of the ring, and Nakamura throwing those kicks like only he can on LA Knight. Nakamura on the apron here. Here comes Shinsuke flying like a bat out of hell with that clothesline. Referees at a count of five. Nakamura back inside the squared circle. LA Knight on his tail, but Shinsuke may have just turned the tides in this matchup for good. Nice arm drag. Shinsuke Nakamura does not want a repeat of three weeks ago on Raw. He wants the victory tonight, and he wants it by any means necessary. Throwing kicks left and right. And a kick out by LA Knight, but you know Nakamura is not going to go down. And it's not going to take the foot off the gas pedal. So the fat lady sings. Nakamura with LA Knight up. Snake guys in the corner. Nakamura is feeling it right now. Wait a minute, Shinsuke in the corner. LA Knight's all kind of dazed. He may be seeing stars after the King Shasta. Nakamura, knee to face. And that'll hand Shinsuke the victory tonight in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. LA Knight was looking to go two for two against the King of Strong Style, but Shinsuke Nakamura came into to tonight with other plans, knocking out LA Knight in the middle of that squared circle. Here is your winner, Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura wanted the rematch for good reason. He walks into roll tonight, and he walks out with a big time victory. The action continues tonight on Raw with the women's tag team matchup. Roxanne Perez and Cora Jade take on JC Jane and Gigi Dolan. Plus, Happy Corbett alongside Madcap Moss takes on Xavier Woods.
And the results of those contests see Roxanne and Core Jade picking up the big time tag team win. And as for Xavier Woods of the New Day, picking up the victory over Happy Corbin in that one on one affair. What's going to be next for Xavier Woods here on Monday Night Raw? We are back inside the Rogers Place in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And the almighty Bobby Lashley is here live and looking to dominate. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds. The almighty Bobby Lashley. Well, ladies and gentlemen, earlier today, Bobby Lashley's former manager, Montel Vontavious Porter, took to Twitter and had this to say, Monday Night Raw, it's been a while. Listen, for the past few months, I've been on the hunt for my newest client, the person I'm going to take to the top of WWE, and I think I found that man. Next week, the world will truly see the future of Raw on display. MVP, of course, was fired by Bobby Lashley back in Elimination Chamber in January. It looks like MVP is bringing his newest client, however, to Monday Night Raw, and we're gonna find out who that is next week on the Raw after Vengeance. Nonetheless, the almighty Bobby Lashley, similar situation to a few moments ago, has been challenged by a man he defeated two weeks back. The black heart of Tommaso Ciampa, seeking retribution against the almighty. These two bulls set the lock horns yet again here at Edmonton on Raw. And his opponent from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa. Things haven't been going so hot for Tommaso Ciampa the last few months ever since he was split away from his former tag team partner Johnny Gargano in the draft, but do not take Tommaso Ciampa lightly. He won the Intercontinental Championship a month after his main roster debut last year. He's a former WWE Tag Team Champion, and of course all the accolades Tommaso Ciampa received in NXT as well. But the Black Heart is here on Monday Night Raw, all alone yet again, and he is having trouble but building some new momentum. Going after Bobby Lashley again tonight and wants to right the wrong in his mind of two weeks ago. Trying to steal the victory early. Bobby Lashley's going to be a hard puzzle to crack for Champa. But if anybody can do it, take nothing away from the Blackheart. One of the toughest sons of bitches in the Monday Night Raw locker room and as dominant and intimidating as Bobby Lashley is, Champa may just be able to figure out this information tonight and keep Lashley down. Champa's coming out swinging against Lashley tonight. He wants that victory. Similar situation as we just saw between LA Knight and Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura wanted that rematch against LA Knight. He made the most of it in, vic in victory. Tommaso Champa looking to do the same in this rematch from two weeks ago against Bobby Lashley. Champa whipping Lashley off here. And Champa all over the almighty. Snap German wanted the bridge and the pinfall. Actually, a little close to the ropes there, but Tommaso Ciampa going to continue this onslaught of offense on Lashley. Ciampa is coming out swinging tonight. Something to prove for the Blackheart here on Monday Night Raw. Nice takedown there off that clothesline and a knee right to the head. Ciampa has got a fire under his ass tonight. He knows the mountain that he's got to climb to get his hand raised tonight. And Champa's going to do anything he possibly can to do so. Lashley kicking out at one, but Tommaso Champa, you see, has got his eyes locked on Bobby Lashley. Oh, Bobby Lashley, look at this, may just be ticked off by Tommaso Champa. And a nice STO of the man who dominated SmackDown for months as the United States Champion. Now here on Raw, looking for a whole new list of prey as Bobby Lashley with Champa in the air. Look at the muscle out of the almighty with the suplex. Tommaso Ciampa came out swinging, but Bobby Lashley not looking to fall to Ciampa tonight. Lashley with the counter. Ciampa up in the air again. Oh, Ciampa with the counter goes behind, taking out the knee of Lashley. This has been pedal to the metal since the opening bell as Ciampa sends Lashley over the top rope and down to the floor. 
The black heart of Monday Night Raw on the offense against Bobby Lashley tonight. Lashley struggling to get to his feet on the outside of the ring. Meanwhile, Tommaso Ciampa sending him shoulder first into the barricade. It's a good way to dislocate his shoulder, but there's Bobby Lashley just able to muscle over Tommaso Ciampa trying to get back into this matchup. So the brawl continues here tonight at the Rogers Place at Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. We'll be in Vancouver this Sunday night for Vengeance. It's going to be one hell of a show. We're going to run down the entire match card for this Sunday night in moments. Meanwhile, Tommaso Ciampa could be looking for the count-out victory here. Count of seven by the referee. Lashley's got to get back inside the ring. It looks like he's going to. But Tommaso Ciampa not giving Lashley a moment of breathing. Oh, wait a minute here. Ciampa with a kick to the gut. Lashley able to muscle him up in the counter. Tommaso Ciampa's doing all he can to be all over Lashley tonight, but Lashley has got other plans. Dominator on Tommaso Ciampa. Into the cover he goes. Ciampa gets the shoulder up. Lashley defeated Tommaso Ciampa two weeks ago on Raw. Ciampa wanted the rematch tonight, but Lashley is looking for the same result. A spear cut in Tommaso Ciampa in half. And that is going to do it. Champa tried all he had, threw everything in the kitchen sink, at least that he got the chance to at Lashley in this matchup, but the almighty fighting from underneath in a rare occurrence and is able to survive Tommaso Champa here tonight in this rematch of Raw. Here is your winner, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Big time victory for the almighty. Bobby Lashley continuing to build momentum here on the red brand. What is going to be next for Lashley after two successful victories over the black card of WWE? <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, coming up this Saturday night, it is WWE Live for channel members only. You're going to want to hit the join button down below so you don't miss out as the world tag team titles will be defended. Ricochet and Mustafa Ali defend against JD McDonough and Drew Gulak from SmackDown. <sighs> And also just announced for Saturday night, Karrion Cross has issued an open challenge to anybody in the Monday Night Raw locker room. Who will accept? Become a channel member now and find out this Saturday at WWE Live. <laughs>It is coming up this Sunday night from the Rogers Arena in Vancouver, Canada. It is WWE Vengeance live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. And signed for this Sunday night, a six-man tag team affair. The Brawling Brutes in their entirety battle Damian Priest and Finn Balor of the Judgment Day alongside the visionary of WWE, Seth freaking Rollins. Big time matchup from Friday Night SmackDown. It is the 30-minute Iron Man match. Who will be the better man? Who will own the bragging rights? Cody Rhodes, or will it be all day Austin Theory? The WWE's Cruiserweight Championship set to be defended in a WrestleMania rematch. Santos Escobar earns another opportunity. He battles the greatest mask of all time, Rey Mysterio, this Sunday for the gold. Friday Night SmackDown coming out swinging with this big time title match. The United States Championship on the line. Imperium's ring general Gunther defends the gold against the phenomenal AJ Styles. Asuka has been dominating for months here in WWE. The better part of the last year as the women's champion. But will Liv Morgan finally in her first one-on-one -on -one matchup for the gold be able to take down the Empress and become the new women's champion? It is the Friday Night SmackDown main event for the World Heavyweight Championship. Ron Breaker's looking to see his name in the lights, but Drew McIntyre's looking to teach the young man some respect. Who is leaving Vancouver, the World Heavyweight Champion? And in the Monday Night Raw main event, first time ever, the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar, goes one-on-one -on -one with the original bro, Matt Riddle. Something's gotta give between these two competitors. Who is leaving vengeance? The W. WWE Champion! All that coming up this Sunday at Vengeance, but as for Raw tonight, it is main event time from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And the man who put Brock Lesnar through the announce table seven nights ago is here and is set for action. 
The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Sami Zayn from Marineville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin We want to take you back to seven nights ago on Monday Night Raw. Brock Lesnar was in action against Sami Zayn, successfully defeated the Great Liberator, but it seemed to all be a ruse by the Kevin Owens and Sami show, an ambush by the prize fighter, a stunner at ringside, but that wasn't all as Kevin Owens, as you see, up the ante, cleared off the announce table, and sent the number one contender for the WWE Championship, laying him to waste through the table with another stunner. Kevin Owens may rue the day he ticked off the Beast Incarnate, but he has got his hands full with the man who faces Brock Lesnar this Sunday at Vengeance, the WWE Champion, the original bro, Matt Riddle. And his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 216 pounds, the WWE being the original bro, Matt Riddle. Well, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn may have been intertwining themselves between Matt Riddle and Brock Lesnar the last number of weeks, but Matt Riddle, on the other hand, has got to stay focused on the matters at hand. He's just got to get through Kevin Owens tonight and then meet, quite frankly, his biggest challenge in his WWE Championship reign thus far, Brock Lesnar on Sunday. It has not been an easy reign for Riddle already. He has been to hell and back over the last few months. Successfully defeated Sami Zayn on the Raw after WrestleMania to retain the WWE Championship. Retained at Backlash inside Hell in the Cell against Randy Orton. Put Sol Sokoa through the announce table a few weeks ago. And that was meant by three F5s by Brock Lesnar. And now he's got to get through Kevin Owens tonight. Remember, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, they intertwine themselves in this whole Riddle and Brock Lesnar situation due to the fact that Brock had eliminated Kevin Owens in that number one contenders match at Backlash. Kevin Owens upset by that, Sami Zayn as well, and they're trying to really maneuver their way, it looks like, into a WWE Championship opportunity for the prize fighter. Nonetheless, it's all about who walks out of Vancouver on Sunday night as the champion, putting all issues and personal vendettas aside just talking about wins and losses and opportunities in the ring a win for kevin owens tonight could certainly put him in line for the wwe championship after vengeance all remains to be seen is ko working over the champion right now in an overhead throw gotta wonder the condition of matt riddle as we mentioned he has been to hell and back just this mat last month alone been through hell in the cell a bruising fight against soul sokoa here on raw just a few weeks back, and it was laid out by not one, not two, but three F5s for the man he meets on Sunday, Brock Lesnar. Now Kevin Owens, who is a dangerous competitor inside of that ring, stomping a mud hole in Matt Riddle. Owens a decorated champion here in the WWE, and he is looking for another victory here tonight to start making his way towards another championship opportunity at Topekin Hero over the top by Kevin Owens. Owens back at ringside. For the first time since he laid waste to the beast last week here on Raw, you gotta wonder if he's looking to do the same to Matt Riddle here tonight. Go for that sent time. Looks like Riddle got out of the way. A little bit of our vantage point. And now Riddle trying to get back into this matchup as Kevin Owens eats the steel post. Matt Riddle not looking to take a loss tonight. And really derail his momentum ahead of Vengeance on Sunday. But he's gotta get back into this matchup. If he's going to walk away victorious. It's been a hell of a night of in-ring action here on Monday Night Raw. You feel a sense of urgency between all the Raw superstars as vengeance approaches, as a big summer in the WWE approaches. High-pressure situations all around the WWE. That riddle crashing and burn right there. Sami Zayn loving what he sees at ringside of his best friend Kevin Owens. The riddle not going to go down without a fight. We know that about the original bro. There's a reason he is the WWE Champion. That's because Riddle has fought from underneath and came out on the other hand time and time again. Nice knee to Kevin Owens. Oh, wait a minute. Riddle could be looking for that bro. Derek on Kevin Owens. And Owens a little close to the ropes there. 
The foot underneath saved by the ropes was the prize fighter. That was a close call there by KO. WWE Champion almost had him. Capitalized when he could, but did not work out in his favor. There's a sit-out powerbomb by Owens, and down goes the champion. I wonder what is going through the mind of Kevin Owens after putting Brock Lesnar through the announce table last week. Two stunners in, to in total. Oh, wait a minute now. He'll be looking for that sit-out, spin-out slam. And down goes Riddle. And Kevin Owens to defeat the WWE Champion here tonight in Edmonton, not just yet. Riddle survives again. Having a roll to the outside just to try to catch a breather. And as this matchup has majority been controlled by Kevin Owens. I wonder if Kevin Owens is coming in tonight kind of a on a high horse, if you will. After taking out Brock Lesnar last week, maybe feeling good about himself, feeling extra confident. And feeling that he's got all the tools and capabilities to defeat the WWE Champion tonight. And a stunner at ringside. Very similar to what we saw to Brock Lesnar seven nights ago here on Raw. Kevin Owens laying out the WWE Champion, and he could be looking for the count out victory. Oh, wait a minute. The Beast. Brock, Le oh, Brock's in the ring. Brock is in the ring. He jumped the barricade. Sami Zayn's in. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn getting ambushed by Brock Lesnar. The Beast Incarnate is hell-bent on retribution and payback is a son of a bitch and a five to Kevin Owens. Sami Zayn trying to take out Brock Lesnar, but Lesnar is motivated as all hell tonight. And Lesnar's got Zayn up for an F. Five to the Great Liberator. Lesnar taking out Kevin Owens. Brock Lesnar has arrived in the North seven nights away from his matchup with Matt Riddle. And he has taken out the Kevin Owens and Sammy Show. Hell bent on Oh, Matt Riddle's back in the ring. Matt Riddle's back in the ring. Lesnar took care of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. The WWE Champion, however, looking to get the upper hand, looking to serve Lesnar a measure of revenge himself after those three F5s a few weeks ago. Your main event go, go, getting thrown out, I assume. I assume this is going to be a no contest as Brock Lesnar has hit the ring and has ambushed the champion and his opponent tonight. It has been chaos and anarchy the last few weeks on Raw between all these competitors ahead of vengeance this Sunday for the WWE Championship. And Lesnar just sending the WWE Champion to the outside. The bell will sound on Sunday night, but we have got a brawl at the matter at hand right now between the WWE Champion and his opposing challenger. We need to restore some order. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn getting laid to waste by Lesnar. They flee through the crowd, it seems, and now Lesnar and Riddle are brawling away here at ringside. You remember Lesnar, three F5s to Matt Riddle a few weeks ago. Lesnar appearing here tonight, looking to take everybody out. Oh, wait a minute, Lesnar heading into the crowd, Riddle going after him here, and this brawl is breaking out into the audience in Rogers Place in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. We have got to restore some order before neither one of these men are able to make it to vengeance in Vancouver this Sunday. And Riddle, look at this throwing strikes on the man he meets for the WWE Championship, Brock Lesnar. Just fighting out on the concourse, fighting out in the concrete. Lesnar throwing haymakers now. The WWE Universe getting an up close and personal view of these two gladiators that are set for battle in just six nights. And vengeance has certainly come early. We need some more referees out here. We need some staff, we need some personnel. We may need to empty the locker room to get these two men apart. But I don't think anybody wants to come between the WWE Champion and how motivated and how hell-bent Riddle has been over the last few months and especially come between the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Oh my goodness, a clothesline and Riddle just falls down on the concrete. This is absolute chaos and anarchy. 
your main event getting thrown out of proportion. A no contest. Meanwhile, Lesnar is eyeing up that table, and the Riddle trying to avoid it, thankfully. We do not need any more carnage ahead of Vengeance on Sunday. Oh no, Lesnar muscling up Matt Riddle, and down he goes through the table. Brock Lesnar trying to ambush and destroy the WWE Champion. Lesnar does not give a damn who you are, what you do, or where you been. And Matt Riddle's just trying to get out between a rock and a hard place right now. Oh my goodness, and another clothesline by Lesnar. This is not a match, ladies and gentlemen. This is just a fight between the two men who meet on Sunday for the WWE title. And there's unfortunately another table, and Lesnar's looking to put it to use. Spy Buster, Matt Riddle has been laid to waste by Brock Lesnar. Lesnar coming out swinging. He took care of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. And Lesnar is standing atop the man he meets this Sunday for the WWE Championship at Vengeance. Hey, so I'm on a chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm around.